At this point, it's just not even a want anymore. It's a need. I don't think I'm ever gonna spread out my cooch in front of somebody to. coming to the city on the weekends and I don't know why I'm even here snowstorm coming today and it's freezing I should have stayed my tush home a couple of times I almost went back home I should have I got here I'm just at a point of my life the slightest inconvenience I'm leaving also it's Saturday I forgot like the trains are not as reliable that's the other thing Stowing, you know, I need to just be in my bed watching movies. That's what I should have been doing. Like, why did I get up and do this makeup trying to do all of that? I think I'm just gonna head back home. Usually, when I get to Secaucus, there's like a train coming every three minutes, maximum like five minutes to wait for the New York train. I'm here, it's 20 minutes to wait for the New York train. Let me go check the time and then I'll update you guys and let you know what ended up happening. Guess what? I'm going to persevere. I am gonna go because the train to go back home is not coming for like another hour so it doesn't make sense today because I have to return something anyways I'll go to Mango, return it and then I'm gonna go back home I'll I haven't even had coffee yet, I haven't even had breakfast yet I think I wanted like a really nice breakfast like, passengers. Like, now arriving on track 2 is the New um, Jersey Transit 1115 inbound train to Penn Station, New yeah. York and it's freezing. New York. You know, it's a place please to stand go. back from the yellow so line and can please imagine. watch the But I'm wearing cashmere, train. so I'm really warm. This coat is really, really warm. And I've got my cashmere gloves that um, I got from Uniqlo. I wonder if that's my bus. I mean, train. <laughs> I keep saying bus when I need to say train. I keep saying train when I need to say bus. It's just becoming also confusing, but <laughs> they both do the same thing, right? Like, who cares? But, um,. I think finally, our train is here. About time. because I didn't drink coffee this morning which was a crazy thought like why would I do that to me but it's okay every now and then I like to let go of my really good coffee that I make at home and I like to ruin my day by having horrible coffee let's actually see if this one is bad this is a new shop I just opened inside Penn Station I got the bagel bagel is good but the butter butter is horrible quality that is my pet peeve is really bad butter butter has to be good i just feel like bad quality butter should be banned like it should not even exist but it is what it is as much as i hate cos body bag i think it's about time that i get a cos body bag because top handle bags are like the most annoying thing to deal with when you actually need to use your hands i would be looking for a cos body bag i think this is the bag that i'm carrying today it's such a pretty bag but it doesn't go over my my shoulders and it gets a little not really that heavy but it's just not convenient at all but let's go to mango we turn this thing and then just go back home 
but I just feel alive whenever I touch down like it used to get on my nerve for the past few months but now I'm just back I need the high now it's just like every time I'm here I'm just like oh this is it like this is the high that I am so used to so let's go try this coffee and see how bad it is to mango we got some discarded Christmas tree guys everything is working out in my favor I'm in Soho strolling around not much to do because I can't really go to the shop because I'm doing no spend January but there was one thing that I would have cheated and buy anyways it's the Ugg Taz because they've been sold out for literally months now I just have at the UGG store if I had found them I would have gotten them what I would have done I would have extended my no spin until mid February or something to make up for that because I need them so bad every day I wake up and I realize how much I need the UGG back home I was making breakfast which is egg avocado tomatoes cheese and a bagel it was so good like when I tell you I make some of the best breakfast sandwiches I feel like I ruin myself for myself like it's really hard for me now to kind of like enjoy certain things out because I make it so good at home and I feel like an idiot when I spend money on it and then it ended up not being delicious. But it's not every time that you have the chance. I did make some coffee, but the coffee pot is broken. <coughs> completely ruined my coffee. So basically, I'm just drinking milk now. I feel like I went to the city for, no for nothing when I could have just stayed home. Whatever I needed to return, I could have returned it with UPS. It wasn't that important. Let me show you guys these little headbands that I got from Friends Lux. You can find them at... 
Seal Bigelow in the city, which is, this is the same brand, Caroline Bassett Kennedy. Hers wasn't available, it was sold out. I got this, I think, during the Thanksgiving sell black friday yeah that's what it's called i got this in the black friday sale and they are my favorite i didn't realize how much i would love them but they're like so chic and what i love about them they don't give you a headache usually for me with those little headbands they get just give me a headache i have to take them off in like two minutes but these are just so classy so pretty and it also just give me like big hair and then just keep the hair out of my face it'll give you a little bit more volume and not look flat this is a good alternative i i got two they are perfect i am obsessed with them they're really really good i do want to get the one carolyn Bissett wore hers is a little bit thicker it's this is it the same one i think it's the same one but the thicker band but it was sold out like i said and you could go to the store but the thing is i never remember you know those like random little errands i could never remember to actually go to the store so I just ordered online might be available in the store yeah. it worked out in my favor today because we're doing no buy january but the only thing i would have bought if i had seen the ug taz i went in the store sold out back ordered so that's why i was gonna get them just in case because they go so quickly and i really 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 want them i need them at this point it's just not even a want anymore it's a need but they'll be back in february which is fine we still have a month or two left of winter after that so we will be good the other thing is are the two tang leggings so two tang leggings i've been wanting them for two years now and now since i've been wearing leggings pretty much every day this is kind of like my casual home leggings that i got from jill rodriguez i need like a dressy pair of leggings and the totem ones are like the best ones that i've seen in the market i stopped by at the totem store and then they're like oh it's busy when mind you the store is like empty they're like oh it's busy would you mind waiting kind of ridiculous when people stay online for chanel or it's just like why would you stay online to give these people your money even the store is freaking empty and i understand they want to have someone to serve you but you can just wait inside the store you can look around uh, it worked out in my favor actually it's like i was just trying to not necessarily trying to break my no by january but these are the two things that i would actually break because those are the things that have been on my on my list to get forever but i never got the opportunity to actually get them i wanted to because it was to like try on the leggings and see which size is my size even though i feel like the small should fit me fine i'm just like would you mind waiting i'm like yes i do and i just laughed i was like it's okay like it's totem like it's it's not that serious totem i love you but it's not that serious i'm not waiting online for you the other thing may be like a sample cell but i do have my limits on how long i would wait on a sample cell i just i just can't do this little like silly things anymore at least silly to me you know not to everyone i understand to some people it's an experience but for me it's just like nothing it's worth buying so bad that I have to to wait online for. That's how I feel. N nothing is worth it. Like uh, it's okay. I'll, I don't know. Like I don't mind losing out on something because for me, in my mind, I'm gonna find something better. It's just clothes. I don't know. That's why I see it to me. It's just clothes. It's just like a thing. It's not like a big deal. I will find it again or I'll find something better. Cause I'm about to get in bed. I'm about to put my pajama pants on because I sat on the the bus with these leggings on so i can't wear them in the house currently until i wash them i'm gonna put my pajama pants on and then i am going to be watching some movies i'm gonna rewatch one of my favorite movie fast become my favorite film of all time now it's notting hill i'm obsessed with notting hill it's just ugh, that movie is just absolute perfection there's a scene in there that i want to recreate i'm not gonna tell you which one Hello 
guys happy wednesday today is january the 10th and i was supposed to be doing a staycation at a hotel in the city because i had some extra points i mean credits i had some credit on booking that was going to expire so i thought you know what let me book a staycation so i found really really cheap hotel booked it it's been paid for i should have cancelled my reservation actually couple nights ago before they took the payment that's what I should have done but it's okay because I used the credit I paid less than a hundred bucks anyway so I don't really care if I lose 90 bucks it's not a big deal that's the issue with me I hate booking things in advance I know people say like they have to book things in advance they lose money me it's the opposite I lose money when I book things in advance because this always happens to me where by the time the day comes around I don't want to do the things anymore I am more of a spontaneous person sometimes it's good especially if you can get like a refund or if you can cancel it in time I was tuning up a little bit one of you sent me a really really lovely email and it really really touched me so thank you for taking time out of your day to do that it made me happy i appreciate that i do love when you guys take time out of your day to actually send me like a lovely email that was very very kind of you you actually really warmed my heart it, it it made my day honestly thank you thank you for sending that email as i was saying people say that they lose money when they if they don't book hotel in advance i have the opposite reaction me personally i like to wait until i am at my destination and i'm so confident in my travels now where i book my hotel when i get to my destination i don't even bother booking advance you know ahead of time unless it's somewhere that i really want to stay but i never really have like the urge want to stay somewhere i don't know i I'm someone who just doesn't really care about her, you know, where she stays. Like I said, I had booked it a month ago and then today I woke up and I have no desire to go to the city. I don't want to be sleeping in a hotel room. I've decided I'm not going to go to the staycation. I mean, I still have time. I can change my mind at any time now. I still have time to to go and check in, but mm, I don't really feel like it. I'm not doing that. I was also invited to this thing to meet Wycliffe tomorrow, but it's in Brooklyn. It's like way too far for me, you know, to go to Brooklyn and having to come back. Hello it's guys, like happy Wednesday. Today is January the 17th. I got a couple of orders that I want to share with you guys. And also, I think this is the happiest that I felt in so long. I thought it deserved to be recorded on here. Just like wake up with this burst of energy with this new lease on life i was watching some youtube videos last night i was watching a remodel like renovation like a house renovation i don't know it just really gave me like a burst of energy it just made me so happy i love watching other people renovate their house i don't know what it is and i just get like so happy for them and i want to see like the entire process or maybe the before and after maybe not the entire process but sometimes it's just like good to see the entire process like i just love it like it's so addictive watching house renovation just get me excited even though I just don't really see myself housewise but anyways I just find it very very energetic when I watch house renovation super super happy it really just get me out of this funk that I've been in also I think magnesium it's such a big helper if you're not taking magnesium obviously see your doctor before you do anything but magnesium has been the supplement that's changed my life it's just literally the best I also have this magnesium spray I sprayed it on my back because my back was like hurting me a little bit. It's kind of like right before that time of the month, you know, when I feel a little bit like, eh. Spray that on my back literally within an hour, not even, within like 30 minutes or something. It just completely shifted my mood. So every night I take the pill when like 6 p.m. or 5 p.m. It's just my body can start relaxing and just like go to bed early. And the biggest thing also magnesium helped me with, it's my hyperhidrosis. I think I've told you guys many times, I suffer hyperhidrosis where I sweat excessively sometimes it smells the chemical on my body is something that i've struggled with but i must say when i take my magnesium i just don't have that problem at all but my magnesium definitely helped me in that capacity plus it also helps me with my picos endometriosis you guys know i've suffered for endometriosis for like the last 10 15 years and it's one of the things that's helped me the most over the summer. I think I told you guys mistakenly. Oh, I had it in my suitcase. I never travel without it. But I think I had my suitcase and I was lazy. I didn't take it for the entire month. I was away. And then when I had area, it was so painful. Once I go back to taking magnesium, it just, it's such a breeze. It, I don't know, magnesium makes 
everything in my life so much better i mean pretty much half of the u.s population has that deficiency so i would say definitely check it out again i'm not a medical practitioner so i'm not telling you what to do but perhaps check with your doctor to see if it's some if it's a supplement that you can take but i would say it's definitely the supplement that changed my life but we are here to talk about fashion like i said i'm super super excited to be back here shopping has always made me happy there are certain things that i absolutely need a black pair of trousers is something that i've always struggled to find and then i saw someone get this pair of trousers from theory i also have a pair of trousers from theory it was a really really long time and it was like in a different fabric i wanted something that i can wear every day one thing that i realized i actually stopped shopping at cost i still love cost don't get me wrong i love their sweaters i still love a lot of things for them but i made a mistake i really really thought their pants actually suited me turns out they don't really suit me at all every time i see myself in a video or in a picture wearing cost pins it cropped me out it makes me look so much shorter than i already am compared to when i wear my weona trousers my weona trousers are like the best fitting trousers out there i think i've told you guys about them in that video that i made i will link it somewhere in the screen so you guys can check it out the weona trousers are like one of the best fitting trousers out there and i had them in every color I love them so much i kind of like save them as my dressy pair of trousers i don't want to wear them every day remember they were black on so if you're looking for a really really great place to get some really amazing basics that you're gonna have in your wardrobe for a long time where ona is the place to go they started by two sisters space in toronto or canada in general um i think it's toronto not sure but canada doesn't matter if you're looking for some really great basics i have literally their trousers and all the colors that they come in the cream the slate, the black. So every time I see a picture of myself or like a video of myself wearing their trousers, it looks so good on, it elongates me. It just makes me look so great. And it doesn't matter which one you get, whether it's the Bobby or the Joey trousers, all of them look so good. I have the whole suit for the brown one and also the black one. So I want to get the blazer now for the slate, which is kind of like the gray color but i already have another gray suit but yeah i've been in the market for another pair of trousers and theories have really 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 amazing amazing trousers and i saw a girl on tiktok wearing those and i had to break my dry january not dry january it's completely different my no spin january to actually get these because they were on a crazy sale for like a hundred dollars if you know theory like this is such a great price for them theory i wasn't sure about the sizing if i'm honest with you the ones that i have they're super super old though um i've had them for years and years and years i don't even know how i even got those trousers i think maybe it was like a far-fetched collaboration i was a size zero but now because of where i am i'm not sure which size i am i went for a four and i'm like maybe it's gonna be too big or something but they are here let's actually see what they look like just open the trousers and funnily enough they're like almost the same fabric as the old one that i have in theory but the style is very much different the other ones they have a very very thin what do you call this around the belly what do you call it oh my goodness this part this part and the other ones you're so so thin so what i love about these is just like the double pleat that they have in the front i, I just love a double pleat and if you don't really have a nice shape double pleat is the way to go i think that's why i don't like the other ones because the front is a little bit flat and i love a little bit of drama you already know this is a test if you're caribbean you know this is how we try on skirts and pins if it goes on your neck perfectly it fits if it cannot touch that means it's gonna be too small and if it's too loose has hanging that means it's gonna be too big so that's a little test for you if you're ever somewhere where you cannot try on pants or skirt just pop it on your shoulder if it just meets perfectly that means it's going to fit you perfectly so like i said i wasn't sure about the sizing because the last pair that i have on theory they were like a size zero and they were still too big for me for so many years i could never wear them i feel now i can fit in them perfectly but for so many years i couldn't yeah these are absolutely stunning i cannot wait to to wear them actually so let's actually try them on and see all right guys this is the only corner that i have that i can show you clothes on but this is uh the trousers this is what they look like on i actually quite like these 
I think they look good. What do we say? Yeah, love. And you guys know in other stories, it's one of my favorite places to shop. You guys are crooked. Hold on, let me fix you. I got to pick out a couple of pieces from them this month. And let me actually show you what I got. This sweater has been on my list. I've been looking for something like this. And then the girl, Coco Butter, she did a video of her styling something like this. I think it's the same sweater. And as soon as I saw it, I'm like, I need this ASAP. This is in the color Mole. I picked out a size medium. That is something that I've been doing in my sweaters lately is always go for a size medium or large because I much prefer a looser fit compared to something that is small. I don't really like something that fits me perfectly, especially now since I'm really into leggings. But then again, you know, people say, oh, if you wear something loose on top, wear something tight on the bottom, it doesn't work for me because I already have volume on top. For me to wear something loose on top, and with something skinny on the bottom, it's going to make me look like the despicable guy. What's his name? I don't know. It's going to give me that shape. It's not a good look. So for me personally, an all loose fit everywhere works just fine. My preferred thing anyway. Some people love everything tailored, like fashion jet lag, Whitney. I love her style. I just love how everything is tailored every inch of her body. I love that for her. I love watching how clothes fit on her. But personally for me, it's not how I like things to be fitted on me. Like I love it on her. Like I think she's one of the best dressed women in the world. And I just love how she loves everything tailored, every inch of her body. I just love that. But for me personally, it's just not the style that I like on me. For me, I just love a looser fit. I don't like things to be fitted. I just hate it. I, I just give me oversized all the time, anytime. I also don't have like the best body shape for things to be fitted on anyways. So I think that's also part of the problem. Let's get back to the sweater. Eve, this is an oversized turtleneck merino wool. Again, I got a medium. I love it and also it has a slit V on the neck. This kind of stays like this which I love especially now I don't really put makeup under my neck like so. I hate when makeup gets on my clothes especially I wear a lot of white on top. What I'm gonna start doing is doing the spray the neck with um, hairspray. I think if you spray it with hairspray it doesn't transfer. I don't know if you know the trick leave it in the comment below i will find it on tiktok but i think they say if you spray the neck with hairspray it doesn't transfer which is why i don't really put makeup here anymore i just stop it as my jaw i've earned the double chin it's okay i'm fine with it so i love how loose the sleeves are and it has a slit on either side i also got this because Taupe has become my favorite color last year. I've just been into the taupe thing and I also recently got this coat. I got this one from December from In Other Stories. This is one of my new favorite coat and crop as well and which is something that I told you guys I don't have enough crop coats which is something that I've been working on over the past couple of months is getting more crop coats because it's not all the time something long goes with what i'm wearing sometimes i think it's best that i wear something like this i wanted to get this again like i said taupey is like one of my favorite colors at this moment i am really really obsessed with this i cannot wait and also i've really been into sweaters for the past year and a half or for the past year really before i never really liked sweaters i think it's because it always looked ill-fitted on me no because I, I used to have so much volume on my chest before my surgery so because of that, I never really like how sweaters looked at me because it just looks so crazy on top. So because of that, I kind of like stayed away from sweaters really. But once I've had my reduction, it's just something that I've just enjoyed wearing so much now. Even though my boobs go way more than I expected them to. But granted, once I lose this 30 pounds, they're going to go down back to a B cup. So I'm very, very excited about that. Even if, if I go back to a C, then I'll be fine but you know compared to what i had before like this is really this is really nothing compared to to what i had before again i really love the neck like this i think this looks really cool I, i'm obsessed with the sweater i love it so much and then also because i saw how much lilac or purple 
looks so good on my eyes if you have brown eyes purple or lilac as an eyeshadow looks so so good on your eyes highly highly recommend you check it out oh i'm gonna be linking this below so i also went for this lilac -y lavender sweater because i don't really have anything of color really so i thought you know i'll try lavender and see if it goes with my skin tone right because if you don't try it you won't know because for the longest time i stayed away from purple i never really liked purple as a color i know it's like a warrior color i think it's because growing up purple like associated with funerals every time you go to funeral like the colors for the flowers are mostly going to be purple that's the color sort of like associated with like a funeral and things like that so i never really like purple because of it but turns out purple actually looks so pretty on brown eyes i've been wearing a lot of purple even though i'm not wearing it today because i'm trying out a new eyeshadow but purple is like my favorite eyeshadows to to wear these days because it makes my eyes pop it makes my eyes look so cute i love it i thought you know what why not add a purple or a lavender or lilac to my wardrobe and actually see if it goes with my skin tone i think it's probably better than baby pink baby pink don't really go with my skin tone it does nothing it washes me out so badly but maybe lavender or lilac would work so let's actually pop this on and see if it does anything for my skin tone this is a lavender sweater on you let me know if it goes with my skin tone or not i don't think it looks bad i think this looks way better on me than pastel pink ever will i'm actually not mad at this lavender at all also got this one in size medium i think i love it i really do now let me show you what else i got i am back so blue salt which is a company founded in malibu their inspiration is being in and around the ocean which is completely different for me not my vibe whatsoever but what is my vibe is that there are sustainable seasonless and also they use the softest fibers on earth they are not kidding when they say they use the softest fibers on earth i was lucky enough to pick out a couple of pieces from them so the first thing that i picked out is a black leggings i've been on the market for black leggings you guys know i got the black ones from jill rodriguez back in october and i was on the market for something else super comfortable i also want the totem ones but I'm waiting until I'm done with dry January and also I'm waiting until I move to include anything else to my wardrobe because the totem ones will be great for like dressy but on a daily basis now especially now since I wear leggings pretty much all the time and I only have like one pair so I also want really good material really good fabrics and I picked out this one in the size uh, one in black I'm super super excited about this it is so soft when I tell you I know this is going to be so so freaking great on the skin this is the first thing that i picked out is this black leggings again i've been wearing black leggings so much now i never thought i would be here but here we are i just love a black legging an oversized turtleneck sweater a t-shirt underneath and in my coat and i am good to go for some errands and some boots i found it just like so easy to wear boots with it because in the past i've kind of like struggled to wear boots that's why i used to always wear like shorts or like mini skirt in the fall time but now since i've been wearing leggings a lot i just find it so so easy and i also have this look and grain in my head from sex in the city charlotte of york of course she's my favorite character the style is classic like in my head i'm a charlotte like she has this look with a sleeveless turtleneck with her hair pulled back she look absolutely stunning one of the best look i've seen on her in the show she looks so good in that look and i've always wanted a sleeveless turtleneck but when I saw this navy blue turtleneck on here, I was just like, oh my god, I need this ASAP. ASAP, ASAP Rocky, I need it. See? So I'm gonna pop this on and actually show you what it looks like. The last thing that I got is I love like a collared sweater with like a zipper. I got this in a size 2, I believe, or 3. I wanted it to be a little bit oversized, also in navy blue. Navy blue has just been my favorite color at the moment i'm just obsessed with navy blues this is going to be great for i am wearing errands and i want to wear something a little bit more casual t-shirt underneath it's not all the time that i like to wear to wear black on top too much but navy blue i don't mind you see like navy blue just like add something it just adds some color to me and this over a t-shirt it's just so great for me to just like wear errands i could pop it with the leggings and be good to go but let's pop on this seamless shoulder neck and actually see hopefully it looks good especially now my arm is a little bit flabby it has 
so much more meat. Oh my god, I miss my toned arms. My arms used to look so nice. Enough crying. Nice. This is the sleeveless turtleneck on. Yes, it feels so good on the skin. And also, I think I would like wear a different bra with it. I would wear a bra that is a little bit more not crushing on the boobs but something that flatten my chest even more i have this skim bra that is like super super tight that i can like remove some of the volume so that's the one i will be wearing with it when i wear this the fabric like usually i don't like to wear turtleneck because the fabric on my neck is so annoying but i must say this is the most comfortable thing that i have around my neck ever ever and I think that I need this in a long sleeve also. I think I'm gonna have to order it. I absolutely love my job. I just love when a brand gives me a product and I love it so much and then I become a customer and I get to share that with you guys, you know, if you're in the market. Guys, when I tell you, if you need fabric, especially something that you are going to be wearing all day at your job, in the office, please check out Blue Salt. Wow! I am so impressed like wow 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 usually like the minute I put something around my neck I'm aware of it and it just like bothers me until the end of times but this is the first time where I'm just like this is so comfortable on my neck and even if it's a little bit tighter it still feels so comfortable and I would probably wear my hair the same way because I think my hair being pulled back a little bit I wish I could do like an updo I think that would just look so chic I think this is what I will do because updos don't I can't really do an updo you know with my hair so I think having it be pulled back and also bigger earrings it's going to be the way to go I'm so upset about it oh the other thing that I meant to tell you guys I don't think I'm ever gonna go out to get a wax anymore the little wax kit that I showed you in a previous vlog I am obsessed with it I did it for the first time it did take me longer that it should i mean it was my first time doing it you know the thing kept getting stuck in my um nails and stuff but i should have worn like gloves and stuff. it's so easy to do even though it took longer than it should but like i said it's my first time give yourself some grace the first time you do it i don't think i'm ever gonna spread out my cooch in front of somebody to wax it anymore i mean obviously if i'm traveling for a long period of time and i need to get something done of course i'm gonna get it done but once i'm home forget about it and i never really felt comfortable i don't know call me a poodle or whatever but i've never felt comfortable opening my legs in front of a stranger for them to wax me anyways i i just didn't like that at all i'm actually very happy now that i can do that at home because i didn't think the wax would just be so good because i thought it would be a struggle it wouldn't pull up the hairs when i tell you i was so shook it went so nicely like if you do it right again so nicely the wax is very very effective highly highly recommend you check it out i would link it below if you guys are interested i'm gonna add it to my amazon shop yeah highly recommend if you've been wanting to do your wax at home definitely do it oh i don't think i could go back now <laughs> i do need to book a facial though i miss a facial i can't remember the last time i had a facial done it's been a while so I do need to book in a facial. Right, this is the zip up sweater. I'm so glad I didn't get the two. The three is so much better. How I intend on wearing it with just like a wet t-shirt underneath. This wet t-shirt is actually from H&M. Which is not bad at all. Usually I don't. I stopped shopping at H&M for the past couple of years now. Because I just felt like every time I would buy something from them. Once I wear it I would just like get rid of it. And then it just felt like I was just like wasting so much money buying things that i've only worn once and i never kept it which is why i much prefer investing in the pieces that is one thing that i am so into now is fabrics the quality of fabrics you put on your body matters i think i was telling you guys this when i wear polyester it actually makes me sweat excessively it it, it doesn't go for my body chemistry it actually makes me stink if i sweat on polyester compared to when i wear cotton I am fine when I wear linen. This is why linen is my favorite fabric in the entire world. I know it's not practical for all year long. I need to get some linen sheets. As the frequency of linen is about like 5,000, whatever it is. So it's actually really, really healthy. It actually heals your body. I mean, granted, it's the same fabric that wraps Jesus' body. So it makes sense, actually. I need to get some linen sheets. Well, when I move, that is um, not here. If you've been in the market for something that is super comfortable, Blue Salt is definitely going to be one of the brands that I buy a lot of stuff from, especially from like staying home or just like my casual wardrobe because you need different compartments, like different things for different areas of your life. Before, I used to be 
a one-shot person it was just like linear I only had work clothes that's all I had and then I remember going on vacation and all I had was work clothes I didn't necessarily have like fun clothes to wear on my vacation or even in my casual life on the weekends so I always looked like I was either going to work or something I had to kind of like switch out and diversify my closet you need different clothes different areas in your closet for different things yeah blue salt highly highly recommend them i'm obsessed it's one of the places that i'm going to be shopping a lot and also speaking of getting my life back together one thing that i realized today when i woke up i actually wanted to go out for a walk like a long long walk but i couldn't find out my workout stuff when it was just right in front of me the whole time so you guys know how much i love fabletics um if you have their membership every week they come out every thursday i think they come out with new drops so you get to pick out new pieces if you again have the membership with them and this is what i picked out for the month of january my style is more like the track suit kind of pen so like the things that i feel most comfortable in especially since i don't necessarily go to like a gym or something sometimes i do pick the leggings so i kind of like go back and forth like one month i'll pick like a track suit and the next one I'll, put, I'll pick a legging for the day when i go back to like working out at home then the leggings i feel the most comfortable especially the shorts i love their shorts but i still get the leggings just in case when i start like going to pilates then i'll have the long legging sets until i feel comfortable then wearing the little shorts to pilates for me personally because i love going on a walk i find the track suits way better and way more comfortable i feel more put together in them compared to just wearing the leggings especially in the summertime but in the winter time it doesn't matter because i'm wearing a coat on top of it so i still look put together but this is the one that i picked out i mean speaking of navy blue being the new black i love navy blue against my skin i think navy blue brings out my colors way better this is the top that it comes in i would like this below if you guys are interested in checking it out also one thing that i never realized i used to always wonder why the girls would buy so many workout sets until 2022 was the year that i decided that i was going to take my health and fitness to the next level i was working out every day and then i realized you stink so bad when you work out and you sweat into those clothes especially like the whatever the fabric they use so that's when you realize oh that's why the girlies have so many workout sets is because you have to change them every day and not every day people's gonna do laundry that's when i realized i needed a workout set for every day of the week because i couldn't wear the same one the next day because i would sweat so bad so yeah that's my cue to sign up for fabletics and really get some pieces i will leave the link below if you're interested but i've also found a new brand that i got some like workout gear but for more to wear outside but i will show them when when i get my order until then i'll catch you guys in a bit i need to go make lunch because i'm hungry it's three o'clock i did eat breakfast really early because i did wake up a little bit early Let's all right guys today is thursday the 18th january 18 and like i said i have been feeling so good about myself i am back i am back and ready for it all i've just been feeling so good i've got my energy back and honestly i think one thing that is helping me i went to order this vitamins as you can see it's already done this is the fastest vitamins i've ever finished that's how good this is if you suffer with pcos and if you need a daily supplement to aid with everything highly highly recommend mellow vitamins if you're a black woman or woman of color this is made from a woman of color for women of color i went and i ordered a three month they didn't have the option for like the three month pack so I got the three month pack because I don't want to worry about this for the next three months. I want to know that I have it for three months and then I'll worry about that. I'll probably put something in my calendar like the month before so I can reorder. This is, like I said, well, some of the best vitamin. I just love it. Love, love, love it. As I was reading the reviews, someone was saying how once they start taking it, how like happy they felt, how they feel so good. And I'm just like, ah, that makes sense because I didn't take it at all for the past couple of weeks. And it's just been, uh, you know, like I was already down. So not taking it, not having the vitamins like wasn't helping, especially since I haven't really been outside taking my vitamin D and everything. So this is a daily essential. So it has vitamin D, it has some other stuff. I'm going to leave the link below if you don't get anything from referring you guys i just love that it's made for a black woman for women of color definitely if you're in the market for some vitamins highly highly recommend you check out mela i cannot wait for mine to come because i only have like three left so hopefully the shipping is fast and then i can get this very soon because yeah i i don't even know how my days is gonna be without it but 
I am almost ready. They sent us an Uber. It's gonna start at five. Let's go ahead and get ready. I am planning on wearing the leather dress from Stad, but I think last week because I was just like eating way too much. Plus, I'm a little bit bloated because it's like before that time of the month, you know, like the, a little bit bloated and you're like a couple pounds more than your regular. So that's where I'm in right now. So I am hoping the dress fits me. It's my favorite dress, I think. One of my favorite dresses in the entire world. I bought that dress like four times already. I am on my way. Stuck in traffic a little bit to ETA around like 6.30, which is perfect because it starts at 6. And um, my friend Brittany texts me. She's coming also. So I can't wait to see her. At least I will have someone else that I know. I'm pretty sure there's other people that I know that are going to be there. But I'm very excited. Like I said, I've never been to the Boo Boo Room. So it's going to be my first. And the great thing is I got an Uber to go and an Uber to go back, um, which makes life so much easier, honestly. It's like the best when Brent provides that. It's just like you always feel alive here. You always feel young. You always feel alive. It doesn't really matter the time of day. Like it's nine o'clock and it feels like it's in the middle of the day. Cinderella has to go home now. I am back home now from the party. What a fabulous party. These are the types of events that I love. My goodness, I had such a good time. Not only I had, I, I've seen so many of my friends there that I haven't seen since last year. Obviously, it's only 20 days, well, not 20, 18 days into the new year. 
but Anastasia herself was there her daughter was there she was the one speaking Cheers. but I'm so excited to try out the new freeze um, brow freeze gel I cannot wait um, I wasn't necessarily a fan of the other one because I've actually purchased two of them both of both of them ended up freezing um, and then I couldn't use them anymore so I am hoping because this one comes in a little packaging like a that looks like a like a mascara I am hoping I'm gonna have better luck with this brow freeze gel I'm so excited because you know when it comes to the brow Anastasia she is the queen of eyebrows I don't know if you know she's an immigrant from Romania so back in 1989 I think when she moved to the state so she started working at spas in Beverly Hills so she remember this method that is called the I don't even remember the wood point or whatever it's called method so she started adding that um, to her clients packages and stuff like that and then since then she became the eyebrow queen which is why that turned into like a billion dollar company that we all are very grateful to Anastasia I mean I've been using the brand for so many years now I'm so so excited to get even more acquainted with the brand I've actually partnered with them in the past on the concealer which I love but we are talking about the new brow freeze which is very fitting because it's actually freezing in New York City which I love by the way so it's like the perfect day perfect week for the lunch so tomorrow I will be trying it with you guys or I'll try it and actually come back and show you what it looks like but mm, this is my makeup it stayed on all night I mean when I'm wearing the YSL foundation I don't have to worry about my makeup I know I'm going to be glowy all night I don't have any shine on my face whatsoever if you see any shine it's the light I, I guarantee you my face look it doesn't look matte but it does it looks velvety but I also wanted to talk to you guys about these earrings from Haven Mayhem Heaven Mayhem Pfft, I don't even know I don't remember because my dyslexia kind of like change stuff sometimes I in my head I start staying a brand name the way that I see it but just to learn years later or months later that it's not even the brand's name so I will link it below but these earrings might be the lightest pair of clip-on earrings that I own I even forgot that I had them in my ears the entire night it's to the point where I even had to check because I thought I had lost one I was just like oh they're still here so um, which was fabulous and also this color it's absolutely stunning it just looks something like a queen would wear and I am up maybe not just love these it just went with the whole plummy vibes that I have here with my dress um yeah I'm obsessed with the lippy with my nails like everything kind of like goes now I need a bag in this color like I need a handbag and a burgundy or plum ASAP um yeah like I said this was such a fabulous party the venue was amazing the food was amazing the flowers just like everything was just absolutely perfect and I'm so happy this is the first one because this put a really good taste in my mouth perhaps um we consider attending more events even though I said this year I am not really attending event unless it's for like a really big brand or a brand that I really want to work with but it was just so fun it was just like I get to see like I said a lot of my friends I got so many people I was just like chatting with them it was a really really good catch-ups and also the venue is just so beautiful you really want to stay you do not want to go DJ was fantastic food and then drinks were flowing even though I didn't really drink now I'm gonna take off my makeup with my favorite favorite makeup remover it's the green clean by pharmacy like this product is for me the best i do have my top five but i would say this is probably like the number one the lms is probably number two the lucerne is probably number three there's another one that i really really love trini london is a number four in that case i'm gonna bid you guys good night this might be the end this might be the end of this vlog we don't know yet but i need to go i'm gonna take my magnesium now because i forgot to take it whilst i was out i always carry a little pack of magnesium with me to take you know if i'm out but i forgot to take it i'm gonna take it now and then let's go take this makeup off and i will catch you guys but i'm gonna bid you guys good night and i will talk to you later